Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm a member of Laplace Partnerships team. I'll be walking you through a brief introduction to your journal options with PLOS and how to publish with us at no cost. At PLOS, we're an open access publisher dedicated to breaking boundaries and empowering research through furthering open science. We're open access and nonprofit, featuring 12 methodologically and ethically rigorous journals targeting science, medicine, related social sciences and humanities, and we're focused on furthering the adoption of open science best practices through our journal communities. The goals of open science are really important to remember when thinking through why you should publish with PLOS. Fundamentally, PLOS is about furthering open science and access to science, and we use our journals as the vehicles to do this. Open science allows us to ensure an integrity and earn trust in scientific findings, which is more important than ever. It allows fostering collaboration, accelerating research, and most of all, enabling anyone who needs access to research outcomes or any part of the research life cycle, the ability to participate in the process. Open Science Applause has many different facets. There are many ways you can participate. Um, you'll see the examples on the slide here. We have everything from open published peer review to the credit taxonomy and ORCID IDs, all the way to uh, linkages with preprint servers and much more. These are all embedded across PLOS titles uh, with different open science features in different titles. And you can explore that as you learn more about our journals. So what about our journals? A little bit about PLOS and our titles. Um, we cover a lot of content. We uh, have over 200 plus subject areas. And while most people know PLOS One, our mega journal, uh, there are 11 other uh, journals and communities that are worth considering. And we offer a, a link on our site that allows you to put in your subject area, the kinds of um, articles you're considering and what other research types or open science behaviors you're interested in to help you narrow down uh, which journal is right for you. When you publish with us, you're automatically Plan S compliant, meaning that your work uh, is fully openly available under the correct licenses. You can automatically repurpose and reuse the work. And most importantly, if you have an institutional agreement with PLOS, you're able to publish with no fees. So a little bit about the PLOS portfolio. We launched in the early 2000s with two highly selective journals, PLOS Medicine and PLOS Biology. The goal of focusing in the biomedical space was to ensure the taxpayer funded research um, and research really meant for the general public to further and better health outcomes was made openly available. From there, we realized there was real demand for access to ethically and methodologically rigorous research uh, that's not focused on novelty, and that led to the, the launch and um, success of PLOS One, the first mega journal. From there, we realized that we had dedicated uh, communities uh, that wanted to have a more uh, definitively scoped homes. So we launched computational biologies, pathogens, neglected tropical diseases, and PLOS genetics. And then most recently, this year in 2022, we've launched five new titles, the first new titles in over a decade, focusing on critical areas aligned with the, um, the sustainable development goals from the UN uh, in journal areas of sustainability and transformation, plus climate, plus water, plus global public health, and plus digital health. You should, really, you should think about these journals as beneficial for you because of what they allow you to do. So your research is accessible to everyone to read and reuse. All of your findings and all of your contributions across the paper are valued. So it doesn't matter if the work is novel or if the results are null. It doesn't matter if you're, um, you contributed to the writing and editing of the article versus pulling together the data. We have dedicated um, PhDs um, and individuals within our editorial teams that are going to support you based on your discipline through the publication journey. So there's a lot of support from within and without to make sure that your findings are communicated to the research communities you care about. 
So our editors are waiting for you. Um, as you can see, we have a wide group um, of representation and um, individuals that are supporting uh, the existing PLOS titles that you might be more familiar with. Um, PLOS One, of course, still being our flagship with Editor-in-Chief Emily Chenette. Again, thousands of academic editors across our boards, thousands of researchers uh, supporting PLOS One to ensure that uh, your research out is out in a timely manner. Lastly, our newest titles and editors um, representing an even more diverse group that are particularly focused in making their journals equitable, both to read and to publish in, just featuring a few of their names here. So what are the benefits of publishing with PLOS? Um, they're wide ranging and they're unique. Format free initial submission uh, for authors, the submission process can be onerous. We've tried to make it um, as smooth as possible by not requiring formatting until you know your work is actually gonna go through peer review and be accepted. Uh, we ensure that your work won't be rejected uh, for novelty grounds. As I mentioned earlier, extensive open science services from preprint posting to public peer review to ORCIDs to sharing methods and protocols, long list of um, open science service, uh, services you can participate in, wide readership of our journals, thanks to extensive press coverage. PLOS has a dedicated press team that is getting the word out about your research every week to ensure that millions of non-researchers have eyes on your work and read about it in uh, the news and other outlets that you may be um, following for, for news. And, and that is really reflected in our alternative metric. So when you're thinking beyond just citation data, fundamentally you wanna understand how your work is impacting communities, whether or not they read research regularly and whether or not they do research themselves. So in the cases of reach beyond citations, PLOS tries to provide additional metrics. So on the top right side of your screen, you'll see we're tracking saves, how often the work was viewed or shared. The articles only had one citation, but it's already been engaged with um, considerably. And when you click on the metrics tab, you can dive deeper into the nature of the web analytics for the article. Beyond that, we also show you media um, and engagement on other platforms like social media and other tools where researchers and the general public look for information about science. So you'll see here using data from the company Altmetric, we are showing the reach of this particular article from PLOS Medicine. And again, while it only has one citation, its engagement in news outlets, blogs, and on social media, including video, uh, is considerable. Examples are uh, USA Today, uh, international news coverage in multiple languages, um, including strong reach on Twitter, both in English and other languages, uh, with a tremendous amount of potential reach based on uh, the size of the follower group uh, that was tweeting from the 730 users. So just scratching the surface of how PLOS's dedicated outreach around your research ensures that more people see it and have access to it. Assuming that's all appealing and you want to submit with PLOS, the question becomes how. Uh, the first thing you need to do is confirm that your institution has a relationship with PLOS. And you can do this on our website on the institutional partner page. You'll just search either for your institution or you can search by country. Underneath the name of the institution are the journals that are eligible for publishing with no fees. And if you don't see your university listed, you can contact us or your library for further um, information so we can try and negotiate some kind of agreement to facilitate participation. To be eligible for pre-publishing with PLOS, assuming you have an agreement, your first step is to log into Editorial Manager, which is our submissions platform for all of our journals. When you're there, you wanna make sure your author profile is correctly affiliated with your institution. When you get to the payment step of your submission, you wanna declare your affiliation again. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to PLOS. We have author guides and tutorials on the specific steps in the process for each journal. So fundamentally, what we want you to come away with is if you are interested in publishing with PLOS and you would like to not pay APCs because you can't or you don't have the funds, there are mechanisms that we are pursuing to make that possible for you. So reach out to your library 
if you don't have an agreement with PLOS, uh, so that we can figure out ways to make publishing with PLOS APC free for your institution. Again, a priority for us is to make sure as many people can participate in the publishing process as want to. And that means moving away from fees where possible. Some further information, uh, things that I alluded to in the presentation, uh, the five new journals we launched in 2022, we have some information there. Understanding more about our open science um, offerings and which journal is best for you. If you seek support on writing style or writing for non-native English speakers, we have our writing center resources. We have author submission guides to help guide you through the process to make sure that you take advantage of your agreement. As I said, you wanna check if your institution has partnered with us. So we have a link to that there. And fundamentally, you can always share the last link on the bottom right with your librarian so that they can reach out to us to discuss future partnership. And if in doubt, please do not hesitate to reach out community at plos.org. And with that, uh, we hope to hear from you soon and look for your papers upon submission. Thank you.